channel and welcome to my brand new office guest bedroom tour. So I've been really excited about this video. This video has been a long time coming. This room has basically been a junk room for pretty much as long as we've lived in this house. We've been meaning to do this for ages. It's quite a small room so I'm excited to show you what we've managed to do with such a limited space. I'm going to talk you through where I got everything, where the furniture's from, the pictures, all that sort of thing, particularly the day bed which you can just see behind me. And everything I mention I'm going to link in the description box just below. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by talking about this corner of the room. This is the desk corner of the room. So this is an Ikea desk. This is from the Kallax range and it comes with this storage unit. Well that's not exactly right, it doesn't come together. We got the Kallax desk unit and then we got the Kallax storage unit and using these handy little connectors it all joins together. And you can see the storage goes the whole way to the floor, basically pretty much to the ceiling. And you can mix and match how you want to fill all the spaces in your storage unit. So some of ours have got drawers, some have got doors, some we have bought these little storage boxes to go in them, or we've got filing um, boxes. We've got all sorts of things really. This is particularly nice. This is just a gold effect um, storage place for sort of letters and things I suppose. And obviously we've got ourselves a little artificial plant. That was also from Ikea up at the top. So I just think this is a really efficient way to make the most of a small space. We needed a lot of storage, um, mainly for Clint, not for me. And this is taking up such little floor space when actually there is so much storage to use. The desk is also a really good size, as you can see. I've put my MacBook on there so that you can see roughly um, what size the table is. So as you can see there's loads of room, which is good when you've got lots of work and things to do. So onto the office chair. I really didn't know what to go with for an office chair, but I decided to go with this style. This style is called, um, I think it's called a few different things, but this one was called an Eiffel chair because of the style of the legs. So it's got a big plastic sort of tub effect top, which is comfier than you would think to sit in. Then it's got the wood legs and the black metal bits in between as well. And I just thought it went really well with the rest of the desk. This chair was from Amazon. It fits nicely underneath as well. The chair was from Amazon and it was somewhere between 35 and 40 pounds. It really wasn't expensive. So I'm gonna link that below for you as I will with everything else. So this is probably the piece of furniture that I'm most happy with because we do have a very limited space. As you can see, it's all quite compact in here. We didn't have room for a double bed to go in our guest bedroom. So this is a day bed. I was lucky enough to be given this day bed by an amazing furniture company that I'm gonna link in the description box called Noah and Nanny. Their furniture is incredible. If you're looking for really unique kids' beds and pieces of furniture that can really easily go in any sort of house, then they're the company for you. I just found it so hard to choose a piece of furniture, but this was the perfect one for us. So this is their day bed. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in the room. Underneath, it comes with extra storage. So we've got drawers that go all the way to the end. And there's a big drawer here on wheels, which is full of sheets and pillows and all sorts for when this is used as a bed. It is a single mattress but, oh, that's on there at the moment. It's actually much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's really spacious. When Clint was putting this bed together, um, he actually told me that he thought it was really well explained. The instructions were really clear. All the little fiddly bits were put into little labelled bags, which made him really happy because it made his job a lot easier. So overall with the bed, with the company, we just couldn't be happier with it. I love the fact that it looks like it could be a sofa. So when this is being used as an office, it looks like we just have a sofa in our office. But when we have a guest to stay, it's a bed. These cushions were a real bargain. These were from Matalan. The big ones are £12 and the smaller ones are 7 and they're 
all a sort of velvety effect. I decided to go with grey and green. I wanted the green because we have this artificial plant in the window. This is also from Ikea. So I wanted the green to pop out a little bit. So they were the colours that I decided to go for. The duvet cover is from Tesco. It's Tesco's own range. It wasn't expensive at all. I just wanted a nice plain duvet cover. I didn't want anything too fussy. So I'm going to move on to talking about the wall art now. So this is on the far wall. If I go back, you can see how it looks when you come in. So it's pretty large. It takes up the majority of that back wall, but at the same time, I think it's quite subtle. It is, believe it or not, a sticker. So it was really easy to put on. I knew that I wanted some sort of Prada sign on the back wall and I found a few sort of like 3D ones but they were really expensive and then I found this on a shop on Etsy which I've linked below for you that was a, a fraction of the price of the other ones I were looking at and it just fits the room and makes the space I think. I think it makes the whole room. I'm so happy with it. Clint also said that it was really easy to put on. You just stick it on as a whole sticker and then you peel it off and there it is. Then for this part of the room, just for this little bit of wall that we have between the door and the window, I just wanted a few prints. So I didn't want to just put the prints on the wall. So what I decided to do to be a little bit different was get these from Ikea. These are picture frame shelves. So they have a little groove in the middle so you can rest your pictures on them. So the picture frames are also from Ikea. I think they are the, I can never say it, Fiskbo <laughs> um, collection. Basically the cheapest frames I've got. They weren't expensive at all. And I decided to get these prints from Decenio. Up here I've got a pineapple. Again, I just wanted little pops of colour. So we got the green again. And I love the gold on the pineapple as well. And just a little print to remind us to breathe. <laughs> when we're feeling a little bit stressed or overwhelmed. I just thought that was nice and subtle. Down here, this one, I love this one. We've got Namaste in bed. I see those everywhere on Instagram and I just love them. And this one here is a sort of feather print and it just says dream in there as well. I wanted a mix because obviously sometimes this room is going to act as a bedroom and sometimes it's going to act as a working space. So I wanted the pictures to reflect that really. <laughs> I literally have a sore throat. I don't think I've talked that much or that quickly uh, for a while. But there you have it. There is my updated office guest bedroom tour with all the things um, detailed that we got to put it together. I hope you like it, we're really happy with it. I'm gonna be doing a lot of my future videos in here because it's nice and bright with the white walls. It makes it really easy to film in here and we get sun coming through this window a lot. So yeah, expect to see a lot of future videos with this as the backdrop. If you have any further questions about this room at all, please don't be afraid to comment below and ask and I will answer them as quickly as I can. And lastly, just thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, obviously, before you go. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.